Well, today I have a very special treat. I have some vintage Sylvanian families calico critters items to show off. Most of these I acquired recently, or all of them, I think, from uh, Kobe Japan, the Kobe Japan Museum store directly. And they are super cool. And I'm going to give you a little bit of history behind them and compare them to some other items that I have to show you the contrast between these super old items and the new stuff that we're seeing today. The first one I want to show you is this sewing machine. But if you remember, I did a top five video a while ago, my top five sets and families that I wanted, and I have checked off now five of those 10 items. The first one is the beavers. Check, got them. The second one are the cows. Got them. I got those very quickly after the video. And the lavender rabbits I got almost immediately after that video too because that video prompted me to like actually look and see, hey, like maybe these are within reach. Recently, I got the motorcycle and sidecar. So this is like a year after that video roughly. Love this so much. It's one of my all-time favorite purchases and I would consider it a vintage item as well. So this brings me to today where we have now checked off the sewing machine. This was an item on my top five list that I wanted and I first saw it in Leah Magpie's video from 2020. That's how I learned it existed, this black one here, and I was just amazed. And I would have, any sewing machine, I would have loved to have. And so when I saw this on Kobe Japan for only like $30, I immediately snagged it. I am so excited. It's in really good condition. Uh, there are a couple little things with it that I'll show you, but oh my gosh, isn't this amazing? It's a replica of the old Singer sewing machine, that classic vintage sewing machine that was built into the table. It's got these beautiful drawers that open and the gold detail. You can't see uh, the design on the machine. It's a little faded, but that little needle goes down. The needle, unfortunately, is bent. This is what the design would look like on the machine. So the first time a sewing machine appeared was in 1994 in the dressmaker shop, and then a year later, the red one in the Fox sewing machine set. That might be the one I have. And then I don't know when this one came out. It also was released as a Tomy edition in the UK. And then the red one came out on its own, but it says Sylvanian, not Singor. And then this one, I have no idea. It comes with this super cool cabinet. This one we know is from 2001. It's the Ivory Rabbit with the green machine. And then the newer ones in 2007. These are both more modern and both of them have moving needles. And then finally in 2008, sewing with mother with the Vole mother and daughter. Not the mole family. These are actually completely unique critters and they're voles. This is a beautiful photo from Mansell Ireland's video and you can see how beautifully detailed that modern machine is. So according to Kobe Japan, this is from 1998, but I'm not sure whether it came in the dressmaker or on its own. But regardless, I absolutely love it. It is just so cool. And I'm sorry to go on so long about this little tiny accessory, but I just love it. And I also got uh, the accessories from the dressmaker shop to go with it. And this little pin cushion came with the sewing machine. This bench, of course. And then, hello, Bella. She is always with me. She follows me in here when I do videos. I'm going to have to pet her a lot. Is that enough? Is that fast enough? <laughs> I sped that up, obviously. Anyway, so that's the sewing machine, and I brought out Mr. or Mrs. Mole, uh, because that's the closest thing we have to a vole, and I don't have an ivory rabbit. And she can sew up this beautiful jacket, and then we will take a look at the other accessories. But isn't that fun? You can push the little needle down, and make her actually sew it. What do you think, uh, Mole Mother? I can't remember her name offhand. How cool is that? I tried to bend the needle a little bit, but I didn't want to break it. All right, well, let's move on and take a look at the dressmaker shop furniture and accessories. 
This came from the uh, 1995 dressmaker shop, and this is everything in the order that, that came with what I got, but not everything that comes with the actual original set. These two threads came with the sewing machine. I don't know if, maybe the sewing machine came with the dressmaker stuff and they just separated them as separate items. I don't know. But it came with this little cute little bu uh, button box, of course, without the buttons, unfortunately. But I love it. And uh, some dress forms. These are really beautiful. And it came with four dress forms. Here are three of them. This one is uh, brown. And this one is my favorite. It just looks, I love, I even love that it looks aged. It like really looks like something out of the 20s. And over here are some items I didn't put in the little scene, but here's the fourth dress form and the sign from the dressmaker shop that the child put on upside down. <laughs> so that's a little annoying, but it's broken anyway, so I don't really care. And then these are some shelves. This is one of three shelves that came with it. I mean, just a ton of furniture came with this building. And uh, this is another button box with a very badly ripped sticker. And then this uh, hanger rack with many hangers, which is broken. And it looks like they attempted to repair it. Um, so that's unfortunate. I don't know what I'll do with it, but I love the hangers. These are actually really practical. They actually hold the critter clothes, unlike the more realistic looking hangers. So I like that functionality there. Although it doesn't really fit on that top rack, it kind of hangs over. It fits uh, fine down here. I'm tempted just to break that rod off, but then it would be like weirdly high up. I don't know. I don't know what we'll do with that. So that is put aside for now. This is super cool. I love it. This is a little dressing room. It's got a beautiful big mirror. It's in really good condition. Most of this stuff is in pretty good condition. The cloth looks very aged, but it, it's clean. It's not stained. It's yellowed. I don't know if I could clean it up or try to wash it, but it's overall in pretty good shape. It's a little bit of thread is coming loose. But my daughter had a brilliant idea of making it a shower. That was her first thought. She was like, oh, is that a shower? And I was like, well, we can make it one. So we put a little shower thing in and she was giving all the critters a shower. <laughs> so that's super cute. So this will go in our department store as a dressing room or maybe we'll use it as a shower. I don't know. And then these two little books came with it. They are in very bad condition. They open backwards because this set was put out in Japan where the books open backwards and it wasn't Americanized very well, although it was sold in the UK. Not Americanized, but Westernized. But they're very cute. This one is adorable. Look at that beautiful little dress. You got to turn it over to open it. And you can see sample is misspelled. But I love the realism of it. And then you've got the... Uh, bust weight and height there for the little rabbit for the dress so I think that's really cute and my daughter was stuffing a bunch of other books in there and I hadn't noticed it before I shot so I had to quickly remove them but that's what came with it and the little book rack and I won't go through every little accessory but over here you can see everything else that came with it and I want to quickly show you the modern dress forms and mannequins compared to these really old ones and these are the ones that came with the Town Series Boutique. I like the look of it, but I don't like the use of that cheaper gold plastic. I'd much rather have it be a painted plastic with gold paint. This one came, I think, in also in a Town Series set. And the pink one came with the Boutique. Or maybe they both came with the Boutique. I can't remember. With that um, like 2014, 2016 Boutique. These are from the 90s. Look how much more detail they are. They are on both sides, they're complete, where all of the other ones have, have like a cutout in the back. So the mole mother approves of these. And they're still, after like nearly 30 years, they're in excellent condition. They're just really beautiful. And I, I wanted to show you that because while we do have some improvements with the new sets, you know, that, you know, modern technology makes possible, we also see a lot of corners being cut, and I just really appreciate the uh, detail, even going back this far. 
So that's enough of the sewing machine and the dress shop. There's a lot more in there, but you can kind of see it. I don't need to go through it all. And then here is another thing I got. It is damaged at the top, but I think I can fix it with a little sanding. But this is a beautiful double-sided cabinet, which I first fell in love with from Tama Boutique, a seller who is just amazing. She's on eBay and Etsy. She has her own uh, website. Her photography is stunning and she makes custom objects and really puts a lot of time and effort into her stuff. And I've purchased from her before. She's amazing. And I saw one on her site a while back. Anyway, I found this one, which is not in great shape, admittedly, but I found it on Kobe Japan for $9 and snagged it. And it is so cool. Look at all of these little moving, opening, interactive parts. I just love it so much. And I, I feel like I didn't put enough thought into what to put in here, but I will put more thought into it. But you can fit tons of silverware in there. I've got a silverware drawer, and then below that there's like cooking utensils, and it opens on both sides. So this can be like a room divider, which is so cool. I just love it. And unfortunately with the top part, you can't fit a whole bunch. And even down here, it looks big, but because it opens on both sides, it doesn't, it's kind of an awkward fit. Like these little pots fit, but I couldn't fit a pan in there with them. But yeah, isn't this a cool cabinet? This is another example of the older Sylvanian items that are just amazing. You just can't beat this level of detail. And the little babies love that they can just crawl right through there. So yeah, that is the vintage double-sided cabinet. And I could not tell you when that was released. I do not know. So what other vintage items do we have? We have the Wildwood Rabbits, the mother and father from 1985. This is the whole family. You can see these boxes. These are the Japanese ones which were the very first release of these rabbits. One of the earliest families ever. These, these guys are 37 years old and they are in excellent condition and they were not that expensive. I kind of feel guilty actually. I think the dad was $12, the mom was 10, which is super cheap. And they're just amazing. Look at these beautiful boxes. They're, the boxes aren't in great shape. And you know, the, figure, the figures do have a few flaws. They're not perfect, but for being how old they are, they're just in excellent condition. You can tell that a collector had them and kept them in the boxes and their clothes are pristine for the most part. But here's the mother. Her name is Ginger Wildwood. Look at that beautiful dress. It's got a snap on the back. Her little tail comes out. Her apron is a separate piece connected with a string. There is a little tiny spot there on the apron that I'm now seeing. Overall, just really in good condition. Little bit of aging on the dress, but she is just gorgeous. She almost has a little sparkle to her, doesn't she? Maybe that's the age and some of the flocking coming off, or maybe she's just extra shiny. But how beautiful is she? Ginger Wildwood. And then her husband is Herb Wildwood. I love these names. He is just so dapper. He's in a little bit better condition. His clothes look pretty flawless. Look at him. I feel so privileged to have these really old bunnies in really good condition. And he also has a little snap on his back and a little poofy tail. So our little Wildwood bunny baby from the Fairy Friends will now have a family. So I think that's very special. And here he is. He's our only Wildwood, or was until now. And he never had a family, and now he does. And I am now noticing that he is a lot lighter. So this newly released Wildwood bunny is actually quite lighter than uh, the old ones. So I wonder if Herb has any suspicions about that. That remains to be seen, but they look like a very happy family and we're just so happy to have them in Critterland. All right, so moving on, we have the very exciting Vintage Urban Life car. This is a Sylvanian family's car 
from the Urban Life series from the late 80s, early 90s in the original box, and it is brand new. That's right. This has been opened, but it has not been taken out of the box and played with. Uh, it is perfectly shiny. I already took a sneak peek and checked just to make sure, but this was advertised and sold as a new product. And I have wanted this car forever. I never ended up doing a top five buildings and vehicles, but this absolutely was on my top five vehicles. And this was a splurge. Uh, this brand new was uh, $70, I think, which is a lot more than I normally pay for a single item. But I thought it was a really good deal for being a new vehicle, and I knew that I would just cherish it, so I did it. So let's take a look at how amazing this car is. Kind of try to figure out how to get it out. There we go. Oh my gosh, I am so excited. And what a beautiful box. I just love that. And here it is. Oh my gosh. It is so shiny. It is so rare to have like something this old be brand new out of the box. And that never happens to me. So this is just a very happy moment. Christmas has come early. Look how beautiful that is in this classic car style. Look at that beautiful gold detail. This is what I mean by painted gold. This is so much more beautiful than that cheap gold they've been using lately. Here's a little horn. The wheel does not turn, but that's okay. Look at those shiny red seats. These critters are gonna be so happy and look so stylish going around town in this thing. Here's a look at the big beautiful wheels. It has a rubbery material on the tires. Yeah, it needs some oil for sure. But I thought this vehicle would be perfect for the Duck family. These are an Urban Life re-release. So these, this is what the original Urban Life Duck family looked like. So I think they will be perfect to go for a ride in the Urban Life car. And the ducklings fit just perfectly. So that is super cute. Oh my gosh. They were made for this car. And we will put Mother up here in the driver's seat because she is just so excited like I am. And she's my avatar for the channel. Now their fit is a little bit tighter. I'm going to be very careful. But yeah, they, uh, they don't fit perfectly. I think a regular type of critter would fit better in the front seat there. And I don't think his hat is going to stay on for the drive. There they are, and they're gonna go drive to our Urban Life house. And my daughter is here uh, giving them the drive. Well, thank you for watching this uh, vintage haul. It's been a ton of fun, and I will see you next time.